To create a QuickTime Move in ARCAD is once again quite simple. First of all we select the camera tool and then place, make sure we select the perspective view camera and then basically place a bunch of cameras in succession and these cameras or the placement of these cameras is really defining the path. We can see they're joined together by a little line that goes between them and that's the path that the cameras are taking. To actually create the render or refine it we double click on the camera tool make sure we've got the camera selected and then over here we've got ways we can tilt and roll each camera if we want. We select each camera and change the height of it, the target so we can make it look up, make it look down, the distance between the target and the eye, change the azimuth, we can roll the camera if we want to. For example, we might select one and we might just roll this camera for the sake of the exercise. I'm going to roll this around to 30 degrees. If I click on this button here, path, we can actually give the path a name so we can have numerous paths. Then ways of defining the motion controls, put that on smooth. Now over here there's six cameras in the path and if we want it to be smoother we have to increase this number here. So if I change that to 20 the movie would be a lot smoother. See at the moment there's 101 frames. So once I set the number of frames, which I might leave at 20, push OK, and then apply, and then if I close that, if I click on the create fly through icon there, here we can render it from any of the windows, from the 3D window, all frames, we can choose the type of file we want, going to make it a quick time movie. I'm just going to put it at thousands of colors for the time being. I'm going to render it from the 3D window, not the photo rendering window. And I'm going to save it to the desktop and push save. But before you push the save or show button, show will just show you the movie that you've created. And if you click save, it will actually save it to the desktop and you'll be able to have a look at it later. But before we do that, if we choose to render it from the 3D window, click on the 3D window settings and here we can go through all the settings, make it the size you want and if you, if you want to render it from the photo render window then you left mouse click on that button, on the photo rendering settings button and then once again you set the size and all the properties in this dialog here then once you're all ready to go, you just push save. Once saved, you can click on your desktop or wherever you've got the movie saved. And here's the result. There's the camera turning, rotating, and then the movie finishing off. If we want it smoother than that, like I said, you just plug more frames in between each camera.